What's going on guys? This video is going to be a simple script that allows you to get the total time of all your videos in a folder. So I actually created the script today and I needed to do so because I'm actually revising some of my older videos where the editing was poor. So I wanted to get the total time of certain playlists, say regular expressions or multi-threading, and I wanted to let the editor know what the total time was. So instead of counting them individually, I tried to see if there was a way to automate this process with Python. So I did a little digging and I was able to figure out how exactly to do so. So I already have the script and instead of rewriting everything, I figured I would just explain everything to you. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll actually take a look. So I have 17 videos in regular expressions and this is the script total time. So we're going to try to count the total time for all 17 videos. So let's just take a look. So we need uh, CV2 and we need OS. All right, so the first function, we'll just ignore it, is just converting the float minutes to minute seconds. We'll ignore that for a second. And we'll look at the second function, which is probably the main part of the script. So get total length of videos. So you feed in a video path, and verbose is if you just want the information printed out to your console. So verbose is used a lot in like Keras and I think other uh, popular frameworks. So that's where I learned about verbose and I implement it into this script and I implement it in projects that I use. All right, so let's just look at get total length of video. So the first line, video equals CV2 video capture, is just going to take the path and convert it into a video capture object. So this allows us to manipulate the video itself. Now we have the video, we can run some CV2 a specific method. So if you look at the first one, cap prop FPS, uh, that basically tells us the, the frame rates. So what I can do is actually, I'll print this out. So each video usually has a frame rate associated with it. So I'll print this out to this console so you could see. And uh, most videos seem to have a frame rate of 30. So in, in my case, all the videos have a frame rate of 30. And what that means is 30 frames per second. So that's the frame rate. Now the total frames can be gotten by CV2 cap prop frame count, which is basically going to get you the total frames for that video. So you have the total frames for the video and the frame rate. So all you need to do is divide it to get the total amount of time. So once again, the frame rate is the amount of frames per second and the frame, uh, total frames is the total frame. So you divide that and you get the total seconds. Now we take the total seconds and to convert it into minutes, of course, we just divide it by 60 and we get total minutes. All right, and if we have verbose on, we can actually uh, run the, the following two line. So when you get total minute, it's actually going to be a floating number. So something like, uh, it could be 32.7. So the seven has to be converted into seconds. And that's what this next line does. Total minute, total seconds equals minute to minute seconds, total minutes. So basically you're taking the minutes, which are in floating uh, format, and you convert it to minute seconds. So if we look at the function above, min to min seconds, we'll see that total minutes and the base 100 seconds equals div mod uh, total minutes one. Now div mod, I think I've used in previous videos, but div mod basically allows you to get the remainder and the divisor, I forget the term, divisible, divisor. So basically if I put two into five, basically dividing five by two, you get two goes into five by two and you have a remainder of one. So the two is what I'm talking about. I think it's the divisor or the divis uh, divisible or forget the term and then you have the one the remainder so div mod gives you back both so the first number will be the total minutes and the second number will be the base 100 seconds now why is it called base 100 seconds it's because it's going to convert it into a base 100 number so what you're going to get back is a fraction something like 0.7 of a minute or maybe 0.6 of a minute now to convert that into seconds of course you need to multiply by 60 because one minute is 60 seconds. So you multiply the base 100 seconds by 60 and you get back the correct seconds. So this is just a, a sort of a utility function that helps you get back the uh, seconds as well as the minutes. So you take the total minutes, which is a floating format and you convert it into an integer format. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, how to get the total minutes, but I wanna get it for the total playlist time. So what I do is feed in a video list. Okay, so time equals uh, zero. And then for each video, I will add on the extra time to total time. And that will give me the total time for uh, entire video list. So total total minutes and total seconds equals min to min seconds total time. So there, we're just converting the total time into total min and total seconds. And we'll just print it out. And the last one is another utility function or help function. You just get back a list of video paths that you want to fit into the video list, uh, total playlist. And here you want to make sure it ends in uh, .mp4, but you can make sure it ends in uh, various different formats. So in my case, everything is in .mp4. And that's pretty much it. 
Um, I don't think there's anything left to explain. So let's just go ahead and take a look. Now this is the video path, which is just going to be a dot. This dot represents the current directory. Then we get the videos um, using a create video list and feed it into total playtime list. Now, if we run this, all right. So we get back uh, 259 minutes and 21 seconds. And the frame rate 30 is just uh, here. The print statement that we fit it in. Frame rate is 30 seconds. All right, so let's just get rid of that. All right, so let me go back. Okay, so 259 minutes. So that's over four hours, six times, uh, 60 times 40 with 240. So it's about four hours and 20 minutes, the regular expression. All right, and just to verify that is it indeed correct, what we can do is Let's just get all these. We'll cut them and put them into paste. So now we're only going to look at these three and let's see what happens. Okay. All right, so total time for those three is 35 minutes and 45 seconds. And if we take a look, so let's see, where's the time here? Okay, we'll go to details. And this one is eight minutes, 50 seconds. This one's 11 minutes, 13 seconds. So eight, 19, we'll just round it off to 20 minutes. And this one is details, 15 minutes. So 35 minutes and 41 seconds. And what do we get? 35 minutes and 45 seconds. So almost there, let's see, four seconds are off. Thirteen. Okay, so yeah, it's actually correct. I just rounded off everything. Thirteen. So there's actually three seconds here. Thirteen would be uh, extra minute and three seconds. All right. So that seems to be correct. So that's it for this video. Thanks guys for the support, and I'll see you guys later.